I like you, college has aged me. I like you. But, a few things, okay? First of all, my name is unboxified, which means that I have to stand by my opinion that elephants are so much better than cardboard or cardboard boxes. Maybe I should change my name to uncardboard boxified or elephantified or elephantastic. I digress. You went into the topic of cardboard boxes, and while those are wonderful revolutionary things for our culture and for us as humans in general, I think that you might have proved my point with your argument by saying that supposedly elephants are natural developments whereas cardboard is a human development. I find it much more interesting and intriguing and, and frankly just more awesome that an elephant is a product of nature whereas cardboard, while impressive, not quite as impressive as an elephant is a product of mankind. We as humans have developed some revolutionary necessities, cardboard being one of them, but elephants, as a product of nature, are much, much more awesome than cardboard. Now, I do understand your point. I do understand that it's possible to build an elephant out of cardboard. Now, of course, that wouldn't be a real elephant, so... I'm not too crazy about that idea. While still less ethical and more painful for the elephant and maybe even the human, it is also nearly just as possible to make a box out of an elephant. Huh? That argument was kind of flawed, but hey, I thought I'd throw it in. I appreciate the research you did on cardboard, and I wish that everyone else had done the same, but I understand, it's, it's very understandable that most people aren't gonna waste their time on this crazy debate over which is cooler, the cardboard or the elephant. I think we can close this case by saying that we both made good points. You think the development of cardboard is way more impressive than a giant gray animal with tusks and a great memory. I think elephants are better than our means of postage, but you know, those are both great opinions. I appreciate your video response deeply. My question for you today is, who is the best superhero? I'm looking forward to this. Oh no, I've got a sepulchritude in my Psyllidex. Looks like I'm gonna have to take this down in my capsulon. Filibuster! If I'd taken my Vitamita Vegemin, I wouldn't be facing this anthropomorphic shenanigan. This is why I didn't major in philanthropy. It's way too sensual. Seven times I've seen Fantasia! And its message about ethereal freedom makes me believe in the desnity of America. But the thunder outside doesn't make me want to move to Mississippi. Three times I've been to Mississippi. I saw a lot of rated R movies there. One was a Spanish soap style called Porque. But as loquacious and sepulchral and awesome as that film was, I couldn't help my repetitive problem of pendiculation. It was ridiculous. Don't forget to be awesome. I want to make a vlog.